Hi, historians. We finished our chapter six, the Revolutionary War. The United States has gained its independence. And in chapter seven, we address the issue of how is the United States going to govern itself? Now, during the Revolutionary War, the United States was very fearful of a strong central government. So they wrote a constitution. Actually, the United States' first constitution called the Articles of Confederation, which you're going to read about in our first assignment this week. And it was designed specifically to be very weak, giving the powers of government mainly to the individual states because they feared a strong central government like they had under King George in England. Under the Articles of Confederation, most of the powers in the Articles of Confederation, our nation's first constitution, remained with the individual states. And consequently, after the Revolutionary War, these states began fighting amongst themselves. It became very obvious that the Articles of Confederation had to be revised or a whole new constitution had to be written that would help the country be strong and unified. As weak as the Articles of Confederation was, they did pass two important ordinances that you'll read about in this, this week, having to do with what, is, what came to be known as the Northwest Territory, right here. And these are the states that came out of the Northwest Territory. It provided for an orderly transition of these territories to enter the Union, and it also outlawed slavery in any of this territory. But back to the weaknesses of the Articles of Confederation. Our nation's founders, leaders, had to do something, they felt, to make our government stronger. So they're going to meet in Philadelphia to revise the Articles of Confederation. That's what they were supposed to do. But instead, they wrote a whole new constitution. James Madison was one of the main writers of that constitution. Consequently, he became known as the father of the constitution. And George Washington presided over this constitutional convention. And he became known as the father of our country. You're going to read a lot more about that this week. So this week, we'll learn on Monday and Tuesday's assignment, Workbook 7.1, the Articles of Confederation. Then Wednesday through Friday, you'll be working on 7.2, Forging a New Constitution, which talks about the difficulty in writing a constitution. Enjoy, folks. Hope to see you soon.